Back the Cherry Blossom Festival back in full force and a lot of you have been talking about just how busy it is. Anthony Montalto joins us live from Carolyn Creighton Park and he's going to introduce us to a manager who says at her business, Cherry Blossom helps keep the party going. Yeah, hey there, Lori. The party is just getting started down here. I think I heard the human cannonball go off a couple minutes ago and a lot lighter of a crowd tonight. I don't even want to think about the line to get in on Sunday. And you're right, everyone was saying how busy it was. Downtown making businesses have noticed that too. I have never actually worked in a small business before. Starting work at Frankie's Boutique was a new experience for Helen Robinson. How much love goes into it, and I really appreciate that. She's been there for about a year now. I love this place and all her hard work has gotten her a manager's job. I started off as a sales associate and then probably just just before Christmas kind of hit when we got another busy season, that's when I stepped in to be the manager. Robinson worked at Frankie's during Cherry Blossom last year. We were packed. It was the busiest I'd ever seen it. She says it's huge. From a regular week to a Cherry Blossom week, I mean, it could be three to four times as much as a regular week. And this year they've seen even more people. We've definitely seen more of a spike, um, not just in the people, but also in our sales, which has been fantastic. And I can only imagine it's gonna continue to grow through the next week and into the weekend. Gary Wheat with Visit Macon says he's noticed that too. It's the busiest I've seen. Obviously we have a influx of visitation. And I think a lot of that has to do with people just want to get out. They want to see things and, and cherry blossom is a staple on their calendar each year and this is an opportunity for them to get back to it. He says the festival brings over 100,000 people to make it and fills up 90% of hotel rooms. Anytime you're at 90 or, or above, you're, you're at capacity. And for us, it's a $3 million direct spend from our visitors each year and impact on the economy. Wheat says that's big for small businesses like Frankie's and Robinson wants to help those businesses prosper even more. So I'm really trying hard to promote other places that people can go in downtown. And I also spoke with a business owner who says that Cherry Blossom is actually bad for her store. She says the lack of parking and roadblocks keep her regulars away. Live in Macon, Anthony Montalto, 13 WMAZ News. Thanks a lot, Anthony. Weed says visit Macon. We'll have more information on how many people came out to the festival in the next couple of weeks.